hello everyone welcome back to our channel yes guys and we really do appreciate you thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again my beautiful people yes guys we're back again with more update regarding the edo state governorship election it's been stated that there is one major thing that would affect a do state election badly and it may make it inconclusive amid serious concern we know recently INEC has been raising a lot of concerns and uh, been giving out um, a lot of warnings to all political actors political um, candidate governorship candidates um, with regards to the um, violence and um, threat that have been coming from different angles allegations and counter allegations at one point, APC was alleging that it was PDP that is planning the violence. At another point, it was um, PDP alleging that um, APC. So at the bottom of everything, there is violence. We're still hearing violence, all of um, that. And um, INEC has um, given their, their stand. They've stated, they've, they've passed out a strong warning to all of the political parties. But here it's been stated that there is still, there is one major thing that uh, can affect this election badly. And we know the way things works in Nigeria. At the end of the day, it might be said uh, um, the, the election has been cancelled um, due to this and that and it's going to be done again or probably one party dragging the other party to court for um, reasons, uh, um, giving um, reasons of um, probably uh, election malpractice and all of that. So my people will find out um, what is this strong reason that may affect a do governorship election badly. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment. But before we do, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, do well to give us a thumbs up. Show us some love, my people. Just to let us know you appreciate what we're doing here. Hit on the like button and don't forget to um, subscribe as well. Thank you once again. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and get all of the details. One major thing that may affect a do election badly and make it inconclusive amid serious concerns. There have been concerns ahead of the forthcoming governorship election in a do state as the People's Democratic Party PDP and the All Progressive Congress APC set to slug it out at the poll. While many express concern over the likelihood of rigging during the election, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has promised to do all it could to ensure that the election is free and fair. Although INEC made that promise, there are still things the Electoral Empire cannot guarantee. In fact, INEC, through its chairman, Professor Yakub Mahmoud, has expressed serious concerns over reports of waves of violence emanating from Edo State as the September 19 election draws nearer. There have been several reports of attacks and attempted attacks on people by alleged political thugs said to be loyal to one politician or the other. The two major rivals in the coming pool are the PDP and the APC. They usually engage in blame gain and counter accusations after the attack. Nobody knows exactly which side of the story to believe, but one thing is sure. INEC is not a security agency which will go after troublemakers or thugs to stop them from unleashing violence on the election day. That is the main problem. Although INEC will engage with the security agencies to help maintain calm with the hope of allowing for a free, fair and peaceful election to hold, but no one knows whether the security agencies will actually be neutral or not. That raises another serious concern. The major thing that may affect the Edo election badly and lead to the pool being declared inconclusive is serious violence. If serious violence erupts on the election day and affects the election process, then INEC will declare the pool inconclusive. INEC had pointed out that its duty is to conduct free and fair election, and that does not include chasing after thugs and other elements that do things that can affect the election. INEC has consistently raised serious fears that the rising waves of violence in Edo may affect the election. If the political parties and their candidates fail to call their supporters to order so that violence will be averted, then INEC has the power to declare the election inconclusive. That will affect everybody, including the political parties and their candidates. 
It means that there won't be a winner yet. Everyone will go back and campaign again, spending more time, money and other resources until things are done right so that the election will be free, fair and peaceful. If not, the circle may continue until things are done the way they should. Rigging can also lead to an inconclusive election. But rigging is usually done with the aid of violence. Most of the time, the people and other election stakeholders are attacked, threatened or influenced against their wish before those riggers carry out their act. That is why INEC is very particular about the rising violence in Edo. Just last weekend, some people were said to have been shot by thugs in the state. In fact, the PDP and APC have again engaged in blame game over the shooting of the 13 PDP members who were said to be having a meeting in a queer community, a Koko Edo local government area of the state. There was a day an attempted attack on the governor's convoy was foiled by security agents. All these lend credence to the fact that there is rising waves of violence ahead of the Edo election. While Governor Obaseki of the PDP wants to win the election as much as Osage Izeiyam of APC wants to win too, there is need for calm. They and indeed other politicians need to calm their supporters so that the election will be peaceful and not declared inconclusive due to violence. INEC had warned that if the poll is marred by violence or rigging, it will activate its power by declaring the election inconclusive. That warning should not be ignored by the parties, the candidates and their supporters. Yes, my people, two major things that may make INEC declare the um, election inconclusive. We know the violence one is very clear. If the violence, if it takes another level, yes, INEC has said that a number of times. What about rigging as well? And if they want to rig, let's know very well that um, they would need the help of INEC because if, let's say, if a party wants to rig this election, they can't just rig it on their own without actually even using violence or collaborating with INEC itself to actually rig the election. We want to hope and believe that INEC will be true to what they've been saying, the song they've been singing. You know, they've been stating that they want a free, fair and credible election in the state. Let's hope that that is what we will get. And also, violence will not erupt so that at the end of the day, the election will not be declared inconclusive. Guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, do give us a thumbs up, my people. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.